Okay, let me show you something and then I explain to you what it actually is. So if I go into my system settings, click on window management and then go into window tiling, I have this uh, system settings module, KCM, where I can set up everything about tiling and of course enable it, as you can see, it worked. I can even select some personal layouts depending on each activity on virtual desktop. I switched them between using a shortcut and you can see that at the center I have all of the names of the shortcut, let's say on this one. I can also go into this appearance uh, wall page and set how much spacing should everything have uh, whoops, compared well, between the end of the screen. Let's go with 30 as an example and I don't know, five year and now it's two times as spaced. In behavior, there's also all of the things you can do, custom window rules and workspace rules. So everything you would expect from a powerful tiling, uh, well, environment. And then I can open up other stuff like Dolphin and you can see it kind of works. System setting requires the width to be a certain uh, thingy. So it, it kind of messes up that, but you can see by changing the layouts, I can find some that actually works like this one. You can see it works and that's very nice. So we actually have window tiling and to actually understand how to use it, we can go into the shortcuts section and search for Bismuth. Yes, that's what I'm using. I'll explain later on. We can see that, I don't know, move windows left and right. It's meta shift L and H like this and that's so nice and you could say like maybe it's missing the pop os kind of applet in the system tray but that's actually being sorry here worked upon you can see this is the feature that's being worked upon and so what is this what is this cool feature that kd has well it's not actually a feature of kd this is bismuth which is a third party kwin script, but it's actually much more at this point. And I think it does a good number of things incredibly right. So for years, people have asked for a native uh, Kwin tiling manager. And the idea is that if it's native in Kwin, it's gonna be good because it's gonna be integrated with all of the Plasma thingies. But the fact is that a third party a third party script or project can be just as integrated into Plasma as 30 party things. So there isn't really a need for a first party Kwin tiling because third party ones can act as if they were first uh, party. As you can see, I'll make an example. When changing the tiling uh, mode, you can see at the center, the various tiling mode, those are using the same pop-up that you see when you, I don't know, change the volume as an example like this is the same exact pop-up. And that's because it's very consistent, it integrates with Plasma, and that's because Plasma allows it. It can also add an applet to the system tray by default, because Plasma allows it. It can also, and this I think is the biggest thingy, add directly a system settings page inside of system settings in the right place. Of course, it disappeared because magic, but in the right place, and act as if it was like a first party feature. And I think that's what really makes uh, Plasma so special. So even if Bismuth, which is this project, let me show you this one, is de facto a third party project, it can absolutely act as a first party one. So from now on, everyone that will, it even works on Wayland. So from now on, all of the people asking for uh, Kwin tiling, should be redirected here. It's not the only project, but as far as I've seen them, it's currently the most advanced one with most options and it kinda works out of the box. And it has all sorts of features, which, uh, well, I kinda showed you all of the settings, all of the ways to actually tile stuff. And I mean, you can even do floating stuff. It's really cool. You can install it through packages. There's Debian, Arch Linux, and so on. And this is based on cron, cron, kite, cron, kite, cron something, and uh, which was a Kwin third party script, but it really builds on it. And the fact that you will soon, I think, be able to use Windows tiling through an applet in the system tray just by installing one package 
from uh, at the repository. I think it's really cool because maybe in the future, uh, distros could even ship Bismuth by default. And for those distro, it will seem like KD Plasma has window styling, has a feature, like has a first uh, citizen feature, but it's actually third party. But since they ship with it, it will seem like it's perfectly normal for Kwin to have tiling. So maybe in the future tiling will not be a thing and there will be something else. And for that something else, we don't need to change the Kwin code because, well, you can just write a script or a project that also uses like runners for key runner. You can actually do custom key runners for runner. I think that's cool, but also applets or this windows or add system settings. Manjaro does this. It adds some pages into system settings and it will be as if KD Plasma Kwin as a project will have that already. I think that's so cool. So if you're interested in tiling, this is probably the best way. You can also search for store.kd.org, which will take ages to load because internet and in here you can go into the search bar and search for tiling and you will be able to find many other uh, tiling scripts I'll make you a direct example if we get back to system settings uh, turn this off please I'm not I'm not an expert on Windows tiling so I leave it to you but if you go into Windows management and then Kwin scripts and then get new scripts so you're not even opening the browser really you're just opening system settings you can search here for ti of course it's loading tiling sorry and it will search for all of the project that contain tiling in the name and that's going to contain as an as, a, as an example cronkit which we saw earlier hello internet come on okay so, okay so i'll give up on okay it's actually showing something finally sorry you can see there is grayed out because it's still loading, but floating tiles, tile gap, Madeir, Kwin rectangle, grid, W, M, Kwin quick tile enhancement, blah, blah, of course, connection is terribly unstable right now. Thank you, KD, right when I'm recording. But then, yes, there's Cronkit, Cronkit, and so on. So there's lots of third-party scripts that you can just download right away from system settings, and then there's can I actually close this? Okay. And then there's actually Bismuth, which is third party. You install by packages because it contains more stuff than just an extension for Kwin. And that's so cool. Like, honestly, one of the coolest feature ever. And that was everything. Well, I'm going to intersect with, uh, with the donations. Uh, okay, sorry about that. Yes, that was everything. And I'm really happy to see third party projects doing really experimenting what, with what they can do because they can do a lot even though they are third party. So if you're interested in doing these kind of things, there's a lot of documentation. If you want to do an applet, well, you can really ask me. I think I kind of know how to do those sort of things. If you want to do other things like Kwin scripts, I'm not expert, but I can try to help. So you can do these things. You can do a project where it's third party but it doesn't feel like it. And really that's really uh, one of the biggest features of KD Plasma at the end. Even like themes, third party applets, they don't feel really third party if they are well done. So cool, see you tomorrow.